All right, here we go, guys and gals. It's getting down to that pointy end of the night for CBS Spins. Rowan Tungate out of red. Jack Holder, blue. Chris Holder, white. Max Frick, yellow. So they're getting themselves lined up and ready. And i got to tell you, this is going to be something pretty special. And they are going to put on a show for us. I hope you are ready. Because honestly, I reckon this is going to be worth the ticket price on its own. Tungate, Holder, Holder and Frick. In that order. Two only go through to the grand final for the Aussie title tonight. No points count in this race. This is purely for qualification through to the final. For CBS Bins. We just await for them to be called to the tapes. Rowan Tungate, red. Jack Holder, blue. Chris Holder, white. Max Frick, yellow. Max Frick right out on the inside against the wall. He is keen. To get into that grand final tonight and they all get away. Tungate's got a ripper of a start on him and he makes himself very wide to find their way around and nobody can. He leads him into turn three and four and uh, look out on the outside is Chris Holder using all the racetrack. Jack is in second. Chris is putting the pressure on and Frick's out the back. He could be missing out on a grand final run here tonight at Gilman. Pressure is on. The man out front is Rowan Tungate. No surprise there for me. Jack Holder is in second, and they are fast out there. They are showing that the cream floats to the top, and it is on. Tungate and Jack Holder, one and two. They'll be going to the grand final if it stays this way. Quick times are 13.32 for both of them, and the chequered flag is out. Tungate will go through. Jack Holder will go through. Chris Holder will miss out for third. And fourth is Max Frick. He'll miss out. So Rowan Tungate and Jack Holder will go through to the final tonight. The time for that heat was 55.396. 55.396. And they are looking good. They're all doing that little bit of gardening, those last final adjustments. The nerves will be up, that's for sure. Again, two only. Go to the grand final. You've got to love this game. So these are your second, fourth, sixth and eighth highest point scorers. First and second. The top two go to the grand final. And that's the take on Tungate and Jack Holder. Ladies go back to the lounge chairs. Brady Kurtz makes some final adjustments. Jamin Lidsey looks down, makes sure everything's right. Ben Cook's pretty keen. And on the outside, Sam Masters will be looking for a run into the grand final. So it's Kurtz, Lidsey, Cook and Masters. They're the names we've been seeing all year. Another good even start and getting the better is Jamin Lidsey this time. He'll lead him through turn one and two, open up some ground there. Kurtz was kept sleeping and he is up into what, third spot? No, he's back to second. He's been able to hang on to second, looking for a transfer into the grand final. Leader is Jamin Lidsey. He is keen to get there, that is for sure. He has been fast all night and Jamin Lidsey putting on an absolute showing out there at the moment, mid part of the racetrack. Kurtz is about to come under attack. Ben Cook wants to get in there as well. He overdoes it between turn one and two, drifts back a little bit, but still is in the fight, that is for sure. Front man is Jamin Lidsey. Comes by in a 13.5, a 13.4 for Kurtz. So Kurtz is in second and the fastest bike on the racetrack. Looks over his shoulder to see where Ben Cook is. Ben's close enough to put some pressure on him, but it will be blue over the line first. Then Kurtz home second. Third across the line should be Ben Cook and fourth home is Sam Masters. The time will come in at 55.747. 
55.747. And uh, Damon, Jamin Lidsey was flying out there. He goes to the final. Brady Kurtz goes to the final. And it's going to be good in that time. 55.747. Rightio, it's come to this. It is the final ride of the night. The big dance, so to speak. We must thank a couple of people first of all for their involvement. And that is our girls, Taylor, Summer, Jasmine and Jacinta. Thank you girls for your involvement. You get the opportunity to now take the riders through to the final tonight. First pick tonight goes to Rowan Tunga. Rowan, what, do you, what are you picking, buddy? He's out of red. Well done, Taylor. Well done. Okay, let's pick the next one. Rowan Lidsey. What would you like, Rowan? Jamin Lidsey. Pick her out, buddy. Jamo out of two. Put your hands together for him. Brady Kurtz. Your chance to pick Gate. Looks like Brady's going with yellow. Right oh, that leaves the last ride of the night for Jack Hopper into third. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's how they line up your final tonight. Here at Gilman for the last ride of not only the event here tonight, but the last ride of the 2024 as 500cc Australian Solo Championship. Proudly brought to you this weekend, of course, by the team at Gilman Speedway here and, of course, the, the very good friends of ours at CBS Spins. We're about to go racing, Scotty. I am pumped for this one. Yeah, so you should be too. So, ah, great to see so many of those lights on those phones. Terrific people. Wave them around a bit. Show them on that live stream that we care and show them what they're missing out on. They can hear it, they can see it, but they can't bloody feel it. We can. Ladies, go back to the chairs. We're nearly ready to bring them to the tapes. Well done to all of you that have ex experienced what I think has been an outstanding night of solo racing. I'll ask you to turn the lights off now because we're bringing them to the line and we don't want to distract any of our competitors. Thank you so much for turning those lights out. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the final. Tungate, Lidsey, Holder, Kutz. Kurtz gets away in an absolute ripper. So too does Tungate. Tungate looks almost in control, but Kurtz goes around the outside. He'll take the lead down the back straight. Can he hang on to it? Brady Kurtz out a bit wide. And Rowan Tungate looked over his shoulder to see what was going on. Jack Holder pushes hard at the back as well. And it's Jamin Lidsey who is in third. He's trying to put Rowan Tungate under pressure, but it is all Brady Kurtz at the moment. He comes through looking clean and in control. Gets the bike down nicely. Looks over his shoulder to see what's going on. One lap to travel in the Australian Championship. And it is all the yellow helmet of Brady Kurtz. Kurtz in a 13.215 that time around. Brady Kurtz has cleared out on him. He has opened it up. He can sell that real estate. And he's going to pick up the win in the final tonight. Second over the line will be Tungate. Third home will be Jamin Lidsey. Fourth over the line will be Jack Holder. The time will come in at a 55.364. 55.364. Gilman, you can explode. Do it. That is fantastic. Kurtz wins ahead of Rowan Tungate, ahead of Jamin Lidsey. Ahead of Jack Holder. What a night of racing. Now, they are not the final positions for the Aussie title. I'll get those as soon as they are official. All right? Well, they might be. But I'm not doing anything until it's official. Wow. Come on, Gilman, make a whole lot of noise. <laughs> You've got to laugh at that, but good on them. They're here to have some fun. They've put on a show. They've put their bloody lives on the line for you tonight. So now you can flash him with your lights again. Jamin Lidsey putting on his show on the back wheel. Brady Kurtz has put it down, but he's okay. Burnout time. <laughs> this place is amazing. It's just exploding. It really is. They're sending them all back. Yep.
Told you I couldn't say anything. All right, we've got a runoff for third in the Australian Championship. We have tied on 61 points Jack Holder and Jamin Lidsey. So don't go away because third in the title is not decided. Put your seats back because we've got one more race to go. We've got Jack Holder and Jamin Lidsey. They need to pick their gates. They need to race off to break the 61 that they are tied on. It's as simple as that. We just want to make sure we get Holder and Lidsey ready to go. And here they come. I hope you're ready for it. It's not use the Sandman. Let's get this thing happening because uh, we do have a third and fourth position in the Australian Championship to decide. Jack Holder gets the blue side and he goes right out by the wall. I'm not surprised. And uh, Jamin Lidsey gets the red and he will come up just one gate up. So they get half the track each. Lidsey's there. And then Holder on the outside. He could, either one of these guys could end up third in the Australian Championship. And this is going to be that decider. The others are decided, there's no doubt about that. Rowan Tungate is your Aussie title holder. Max Frick is second. It's third that we're deciding right now. For CBS Bins, man oh man, you know how to put your names on a decent sort of a race meeting, don't you? Absolutely fantastic. If you need to move rubbish, they are the first people to talk to. Get your quotes and get it organised. So tired on 61 points. Jamin Lidsey with the red helmet colour. Jack Holder wearing the blue. And it is a race off for third in an Australian title for CBS Spins. What's going to happen? We are away. And racing now. Getting a bit of a lift there was uh, Jack Holder. He's using the high side of the racetrack to his advantage. He's winding on the power. He takes the lead around turn three. This is where it gets interesting. He uses his body well and he'll cross the line in front in a 13.5. No, we don't have transponders working. Don't need them. So it is all the blue helmet colour now of Jack Holder. And he's using the high part of the racetrack to his advantage. Jamin Lidsey unable to answer him. He's still going to be a very credible fourth in Australia. There's no doubt about that. One lap to travel. And as I say, Jack Holder well and truly in control. Jamin Lidsey trying to get into his slipstream if he can, but hey, it ain't working. The double checkers are coming out. And Jack Holder will be your third for Australia. Yep. And fourth will be... Jamin Lidsey. So now make some noise because they put on another great showing for us, Gilman. Absolutely brilliant. Yep. Okay, we're ready to go. So for tonight's round five heats, and we will have the top three. Yeah, the top three, isn't it? Okay, so the top three, we asked to come over here for tonight, thanks to CBS Bins. Uh, Chris Hopper, home in third. Oh, hang on. Wrong. Turn it over. Third place to one, Jamin Lidsey. Sorry. Come on, Jamin. So third place on the night, Jamin Lidsey. Collect your trophies and bits and pieces on the way through. Look out. He'll try and kiss you. <laughs> I, mate, well done. It's been a big night, hasn't it? Yeah, it didn't too good. I ended up on the ground over there, but... Um, no, nah, not at all. But, um, you know, I managed to turn it around and make it into the final. And, um, you know, to get third place against these boys is um, pretty good. So I'm, I'm happy. The series is all done now. So, um, yeah. Relief? Yeah, in a way, you know, it's a big week, you know, on everyone. The travel, the racing, you know, the weather, you know, every round's been pretty humid. And, you know, it's, it's hard going. So, um, you know, it's a compact week. But, um, you know, everyone's got to do it. And um, I think we're all glad it's finished. Any sponsors? Yeah, there's several people I like to thank, especially the boys in the pits, me brother Blake, Ollie, um, Stevie Viner for, you know, all their hard effort, you know, taking time out of their holidays to come and join and do the Australian Championship. So I'm very grateful for them for helping me and, you know, everyone that supports me over the years and now and um, to get me where I am. Good on you, mate. Congratulations. It's been a good ride. 
Thanks for the, for the work. Uh, second over the line was uh, Rowan Tungate. So this, of course, is not the title. This is the round win to Rowan. Putting on a show for us tonight, mate. Congratulations. It's good to have you back. Yeah, it's a nice feeling now. It's all done and uh, it was a hell of a series and they all... Hello. Yeah, we're back. Yeah, it was a, a tough night and uh, congratulations to Brady. He came to the party again. So, um, no, I'm happy to still be here again and uh, thank you. A minute. <laughs> All right, and uh, first over the line in that final heat was Brady Kurtz. Come on, Brady. I'll try and get this so it shoots to the tower. Congrats, mate. Nice to have you back. Thank you. Yeah, it's, uh, I always enjoy it here. I've had a few good rounds, and uh, it's nice to finish off with two wins, and not sure what the hell I was doing in the first three rounds, but... Uh, <laughs> It's good to, good to finish off strong. I would have liked to have been a little bit further up in the points, but uh, congratulations to Rowan. He's for sure the best guy this week by far, and, uh, yeah, it was well earned. Yeah. Uh, well done, mate. Some thank yous? Yeah, my, the two boys in the pits worked their ass off all week, slogged it out in the van, in the pits, in the workshop, and uh, wouldn't have done it without them. And, uh, yeah, thanks very much. Yeah, good on you, mate. Go and take your place up there on the podium as the winner of what is round five, but not the title. Okay, make sure you're aware of that. Um, three great riders up there to make sure that we were honest. And man, oh man, didn't they put on a showing for us. So we'll let all the photos get through, and then we'll be able to announce our top three Australian solo riders. The top three will have a presentation. So don't go away. do that no okay all right so now i reckon it might be time for us to make the announcements everybody knows but we want to see their faces and congratulate them so after a big ride off they were tied on 61 points it was uh, jack holder has come out as third in australia that is nothing to be sneezed at when you're up against these guys come on make a whole lot of noise in appreciation to a ride that this young fella did from the GPs of the world to good old Gurman and Australian Championship. There we go. It's got to have the monster helmet. Jeez, wouldn't we love to have one of those in our shed? Good on you, Jack. Thanks to CBS Spins for the support. Mate, before you take it out of your mouth, congratulations. <laughs> Bugger. There it is, monster all over the ground. Congratulations, mate. It's been a tough night for you, though. Yeah, mate. It um, wasn't one of my best nights, but, um, yeah, you know. It's not too bad. Yeah, top three in Australia is not too bad. Um, yeah, you know, all the boys were on it. The whole series, congratulations to Rowan, Max, uh, J-Mo, everyone like that. So, um, yeah, I'll be back next year. Third in Australia is awesome. One more step to go, or two more steps to go, I suppose. Yeah, mate, of course. You know, I... I would have liked to have gone back to back, but um, yeah, not my year this year, and I'll be back next year. Of course you will. Well done. Congratulations. Third in Australia, Mr. Jack Holder. Second this time around is Mr. Max Frick. Mate, he was here a couple of weeks ago, and he pulled it off, but it just wasn't his night tonight. Absolute gentleman of a man, as they all are, and second in Australia for 2024. Absolutely brilliant. Put on a good showing for us, but it just wasn't the night that he wanted. Nice to have you back, mate. I must stay away from you in the pits before the race meeting. Yeah, it's uh, it's good to be back. Unfortunately, you know, we threw it away a little bit tonight, but um, I guess you have those days at the office sometimes. So uh, we bounced back a little bit later in the meeting, but it was a little too little or too late. So uh, to come away from the series a second, that's, uh, you know, a little bit bitter, but at the same time, it's, um, you know, second's pretty good. So, uh, Know, back onto 
going back overseas next uh, in the next few weeks, so that'll be good. Back here for the Oceania? Uh, I'm sure, yeah. I need to get some visa stuff sorted, so 50-50. Okay. Right. We'll leave that with you then, and hopefully we'll see you. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> good on you, mate. Congratulations. Max Ricks, ladies and gentlemen. And, of course, your new Australian champion. How cool is this? Rowan Tungate. You are so quiet tonight. Rowan Tungate. Yes, that's better. <laughs> He's a pretty happy guy, I reckon. He doesn't put too much. Lee's there as well. And Lee will be coming over shortly. Mate, this time, congratulations. You're an Australian champion. How cool is that? How's it feel? Thank you. It's a, it's a pretty nice feeling. It was a stressful uh, series and, and a long one. So, um to come out on top is is such a nice feeling and i only come back here just to do this because uh, my daughter was born recently so um yeah i literally come here to do the championship and i'm going straight back so back? to poland back so, to poland. so um, yeah it's been a, a long run so um yeah it's it's, it's very nice to, to be standing here with this well, mate, I just said I hope we were going to see you at the oceania but obviously we're not you've got far more important things to worry about in a fortnight's time yeah, definitely. I would have liked to be here. I always love racing in Australia. So, um, yeah, but there's always next year. And uh, I'd just like to say thanks to everybody, the, the riders, the, the mechanics, just the, the promoters, everyone put on a good show. And, uh, yeah, it was a pleasure to be here. Outstanding. Thank you so much. And uh, Lee? Lee's got... <laughs> Lee's got the big trophy for you. Yes, true story. Stole Max's lunch money. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, you absolute race fans hanging around for the presentation. They are your Australian champions. And the man in the middle, a new dad heading home to Poland, he takes the Aussie title back to his new daughter. I reckon that's pretty bloody cool, to be honest. I reckon that's really cool. Thank you so much, guys and gals, for being here. We'll go back to the live stream shortly. For those that are here um don't forget 27th of january the australia day long weekend please come out it's the oceania title and it's going to be an absolute ripper and we will be seeing um ty Wiffenden here on the racetrack uh, so he'll be bill jura and here and doing a few other tracks but look forward to him thank you everybody go safely going home and guess what oi 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 happy australia day for the 26th let's keep it alive bugger woolies all right i'll leave it to you now Good on you, Scotty. Well, ladies and gents, that is a wrap. It is all over by the shouting. You can see the guys celebrating. From our live stream, we'd like to thank you for joining us tonight and indeed for all of the rounds that we've had for our wonderful championship series. Really looking forward to it all bouncing back into action next year. But in the meantime, please make sure you keep yourself safe. Make sure you tune in for each one of the rounds that we get involved with next year and we'll do it all over again. Love having your company. Thank you so much to the live stream guys for all their work. And we do hope you have a wonderful and fantastic, not only Australia Day, but a 2024. See you at the end of the year.